So today I decided to do my videos in the evening and I know I've mostly been doing them in the morning like first thing well not like first thing but like you know after I get up and just kind of relax a little bit and getting outside and just spending time in my own energy and then creating a video about something that really inspires me and that I really want to talk about with my audience. And today it's going to be a little bit different because um, it's almost dusk. And one of the things I like about that time when it's getting closer to dusk is that with my cell phone I can actually see the screen and I don't have to move into the shade because the sun isn't hitting me overhead so I've got that perfect amount of lighting to make videos um and I can see my cell phone screen so that is just like a major major bonus um but I normally don't do this just because I want to every day like know I've made my videos so then I don't have to think about like doing it later. And I know I've gone on and on about consistency in your content and continuously doing something. Um, and I know last week I was not very consistent. And that is because just like anybody else, I still have areas of my life that are not the way that I want them to be. And so I'm still working on that piece. Like, so don't think that you have to have a perfect life in order to build an audience or that if you miss a day, like, you know, the old, like, cheating on your diet thing where, like, oh, you missed a day and then people, like, throw out the whole thing and, <laughs> like, binge on foods and, you know, balloon out. Um, so, like, just because you took a day off of social media or even a week of, like, posting or whatever, you don't have to start from scratch. Um, the idea is basically to be more consistent than you were and to keep that momentum going and if you miss days to come back um if a time like didn't work for you like do your video at another time um so even though I really stress consistency the other thing I stress is you do not have to be perfect and that's comes back to the other thing I've been talking about a lot in my videos and that is showing your true emotions and this is one of the things that kind of bothers me a lot um, is this idea of being a perfect person and always being in a good mood and having like these positive vibes and having these really fun, exciting videos where you're all hyped up and everything's great and wonderful and you're really just enjoying life in order to make videos. And the truth is we don't feel that way all the time and projecting that image on social media actually does your audience a disservice because then it seems like you have some kind of unattainable life and that you're not a real person with real feelings, but you're just a robot who has everything all together like a machine. You know, we could just have the AI do that. <laughs> you could make like a perfect video with AI. No, they're like working on it, but um, that isn't like a real person. Um, and, you know, if you're looking for that, um, I'm not your coach because um, being a perfect robot is actually something that when I first started looking for coaches was actually something, believe it or not, disturbingly or not, 
enough or not, I was actually looking for because I thought that's how people were supposed to be, that they were supposed to have it together all the time, like have perfect makeup in videos, have like this generic marketing about like 10k or 20k or like, I don't know, months and follow these templates that were really super boring in order to sell coaching. And I'm honestly not sure where I got that idea that that was the thing to do. I think because I like joined some of these groups for coaches and then I saw a lot of this cookie cutter copy paste marketing. So then I thought, well, you know, that should work, right? Because it's like everybody else's. But what I didn't realize is not only is that super boring, but I didn't want to buy it because I didn't go into entrepreneurship to have a business that looks exactly like everybody else's and follows this cookie cutter coaching formula. I started a business to be myself and not to be somebody else um, following some template. And then I asked myself, like, how is it that, I mean, these stupid templates come from somewhere. Like somebody made whatever that is, that generic marketing, that robotic kind of perfection with the perfect makeup and the perfect banners and the templates and all of that. Like somebody made all of that up. And wouldn't it be better to be the person making stuff up rather than having to follow all of that stupid cookie cutter shit? And when I thought of it like that, I changed my whole strategy for how I wanted to find the best marketers and the people who were really ahead of the curve when it came to marketing. And that's how I started learning about things like audience growth and more importantly, how how to be myself instead of trying to be this perfect person that I thought I had to be.